Hello everyone, welcome to SCOM 2022 lab setup. So earlier I have already created videos on SCOM 2012 and 19. All we know we have a new version that is SCOM 2022. In this video I am going to show you the lab architecture. In this lab series I will go through all the requirement prerequisites and uh, how we can create our own lab for SCOM 2022. Let's go to the SCOM simple or basic architecture. So you should have one domain and one domain controller. Then you need one SQL server and SCOM server. I have three virtual machines, but you can install all three on your laptop itself and create virtual machines for monitoring. But in my case, I have created three different virtual machines and then joined the client machines to domain and monitor those virtual machines. Let's go and check how I have configured my own lab. So I have two hosts, host one and host two. These are two laptops and these are connected via CAT6 cable. These are connected with single cable, network cable, means there is no switch. These are directly connected with each other and I have installed VirtualBox on these two hosts and uh, I have chosen bridge network so that it can communicate directly with the network adapter and communicate with the VirtualBox on the second host. On first host I have uh, two VMs right now, SCOM server and SQL server and one on host 2 that is domain controller only. I have core operating system for domain controller for uh, SCOM server and SQL server. I have installed Windows Server 2022. This is the lab configurations given to virtual CPU to all virtual machines, but uh, it differs in memory. So DC you can give 2 GB that is sufficient for core domain controller. Then SQL 4 GB, SCOM server 4 GB, and then for remaining client machines, we can give 2 GB. That's enough. And this is the disk requirement. And right now I have these IPs assigned to these three, three virtual machines. Let's go to SCOM. So I'm on SCOM SQL server and I have added SCOM DC1 over here to manage it remotely. Oh, I can remotely connect to this. Okay, so here you can see it is uh, taking SQL, SCOM SQL administrator, but we need to log in with SCOM DC1 slash administrator. And I'm going to install Active Directory domain services role. We'll promote this as a domain controller. We need to do it using PowerShell command. Command is install Windows features. We need to use this command install window feature. We need to specify the name of the window feature that is ad domain services. And we want to include management tools so it will install our set tools. Okay, hit enter. We'll pause the video once it is installed. We'll back. Okay, so you can see window feature is installed. Success is true. That's good and no restart is required so we can go with the next command that is install ad forest sorry i think it's install ad ds forest yes and then give the domain name i have chosen bevers 3.0 and then install dns it will ask for safe mode administrator password just enter that okay and then it will just ask for the confirmation. Yes, I want to install. And again, you need to wait for a few minutes. To install Windows 2022, you can watch my old video where I have shown how to install Windows Server 2022 so that you can create your own lab. To install core operating system, you have to choose 2022 standard evaluation. And for GUI, you can choose desktop experience. Okay, so let's go. I think server has got rebooted after installation of Active Directory. Let me reconnect. Okay, so you can see it is giving me error that logging attempt failed because 
I am using scom dc1 as a user, but actually it is changed to domain. So I need to use webOS 3 administrator. So now we have to log into domain. Okay. So I have given domain name and then administrator. Active Directory domain services is installed. So it will take some time to configure group policies, settings and all. So now we can see we have prompt now and uh, to check we can run command get ad domain okay so we have successfully installed active directory domain services and promoted this server as a domain controller let's join this computer scom sql to webos3 okay it is giving me error because dns server is not configured here okay so right now i am on scom server let's try to join this one first dns is not configured over here as well so this is how we assign ip address i think i haven't assigned ip address to this one okay close let's go to join this vm to domain now it is prompting for credentials webos3 administrator and the password so this server is joined to domain restart it i think this scom sql vm got stuck i need to restart it let's try okay so it's scom sql server i think ip address is already there i just need to update the dns server okay so dns server is 192.168.0.11 close let's join this server to domain as well so if you know how to join vm to domain you can do it by yourself you can skip this part okay so this one is also joined to domain i will reboot the server and once it is up so i will install sql server in next video see you in the next video have a good one thank you